OpenAI just launched the GPT-03 Mini in response to growing competition, aiming to outdo previous models and rival DeepSeek R1. This move highlights the power of open source as downloads skyrocket by over 30% daily. It's clear OpenAI is stepping up in a major way to face one of its toughest challenges yet. For months, DeepSeek R1 has been in the news, developed by a Chinese AI lab. It's open source, works really well, and is very cheap to use. While OpenAI has been leading the AI field since it launched ChatGPT in 2022, DeepSeek is showing that it's not just catching up, but actually setting new benchmarks. In response, OpenAI launched the O3 Mini, a faster, more affordable, and more advanced reasoning model that's now available to all ChatGPT users for free. But the question remains, is this enough to slow down DeepSeek's progress? Or is OpenAI just trying to keep up? Let's dig into what makes the O3 Mini different. OpenAI's O series models, introduced in September 2024, were built to focus more on reasoning than just generating text. Unlike earlier versions that quickly responded but sometimes lacked depth, the O3 Mini spends more time thinking about and refining its answers, greatly enhancing its accuracy when tackling complex problems. A key improvement is its speed. Although OpenAI hasn't shared specific numbers, tests from outside sources suggest that the O3 Mini processes 1 in 100 tokens in 10.32 seconds compared to 12.8 seconds for the O1 Mini, which is a 24% increase in speed. Also, in evaluations, third-party testers preferred the answers from the O3 Mini 56% of the time over the O1 Mini, especially for questions related to science, technology, engineering, and math (STEM). The model also cuts down on major mistakes by 39%, making it much more trustworthy for solving real-world problems. Besides being more accurate, OpenAI has increased the amount of data the O3 Mini can handle at once to 200,000 units of information, which is more than DeepSeek R1's limit of 130,000. This makes the O3 Mini particularly good for research, coding, and complex tasks that need to keep track of a lot of information over long periods. Users can also choose from three levels of thinking effort, low, medium, and high, which helps find the right balance between speed and thoroughness for different tasks. However, a significant difference remains. The O3 Mini is still not open for the public to modify or enhance, unlike DeepSeek R1, which anyone can adjust, retrain, or incorporate into their own systems. OpenAI keeps its models private and within its own control. This leads to an important question. Will users and developers stick with OpenAI, or will they switch to DeepSeek's more open and adaptable system? A major reason for DeepSeek R1's quick popularity is its lower cost. OpenAI charges $110 for every million units of data processed, and $440 for every million units outputted by the O3 Mini, whereas DeepSeek R1 only charges $0.14 per million for input and $0.55 per million for output, making it 93% cheaper. Beyond the cost, DeepSeek is entirely open source, which means anyone can use, change, and improve the model for their own needs, a flexibility that OpenAI does not offer with its models. This openness has quickly led big companies like Microsoft, Amazon, and the AI search firm Perplexity to adopt DeepSeek R1 for their platforms, showing that key industry players recognize its value. Additionally, tests show that DeepSeek R1 performs better than GPT-4 in some specific reasoning tasks, especially in coding and math problems. But maybe the most surprising event was when DeepSeek R1 became the top app on the US Apple App Store surpassing ChatGPT. This shows that people are actively looking for alternatives to OpenAI's restricted system. For OpenAI, this competition is more than just a challenge. It's a critical threat. If more companies, developers, and users keep moving towards open source AI, OpenAI could lose its leading position in the AI field. This is why they introduced the O3 Mini aiming to directly tackle the rising success of DeepSeek and regain their leading status before it's too late. OpenAI knew it had to take strong action, and the O3 Mini is its first significant response to DeepSeek's rise. This competition isn't just about which model performs better, it's about strategic moves. 
OpenAI is taking steps to directly challenge DeepSeek's increasing popularity and keep its top spot in the AI market. One big change is OpenAI's decision to make the O3 Mini free for all ChatGPT users, even those who don't pay. This is the first time OpenAI has offered a reasoning model for free, showing they are ready to lose some short-term income to win back market share from DeepSeek R1. Another key difference is security. A recent report showed that DeepSeek R1 didn't pass several security tests, which brought up concerns about how it handles sensitive content and safety. OpenAI is marketing the O3 Mini as a safer option for data security and meeting regulatory needs, which is crucial for keeping business clients. Another advantage DeepSeek R1 has had is its ability to search the web in real time, a feature OpenAI's models didn't have. But OpenAI has announced that the O3 Mini will soon have search capabilities too, which will let its users find and use current information just like DeepSeek users can. OpenAI is planning for the long haul by investing a huge $500 billion in an AI infrastructure project named Stargate. This indicates that they are gearing up for a prolonged AI competition, which could last for years. The Stargate project aims to boost OpenAI's computing power, enhance the efficiency of its models, and solidify its leadership in the AI sector. OpenAI is clearly ready to stand its ground, but with DeepSeek quickly making advances, the AI market might see significant changes soon. I'm particularly interested in having an open source model that works exceptionally well and can even run on my phone. The core of the ongoing debate between OpenAI's closed source approach and DeepSeek's open source method is about whether AI should be proprietary or freely available. This debate goes beyond technicalities. It's about the future direction of AI and who gets to influence it. OpenAI believes that keeping its AI models closed source is crucial for ensuring safety, security, and ethical use. By keeping their technology private, OpenAI can prevent its misuse, block inappropriate content, and ensure the models are used in ways that meet ethical standards. This control also helps prevent malicious use of AI for spreading false information, launching cyber attacks, or other unethical activities. By holding on to control, OpenAI aims to steer the development of AI in a direction that aligns with regulatory and corporate standards. Deep Seek Champions, a contrasting philosophy from OpenAI. Its developers advocate for AI to be open source, accessible for anyone to tweak, retrain, and incorporate into their systems. This approach supports rapid innovation, reduces costs, and prevents a few large tech companies from monopolizing AI technology. Proponents of open source AI argue that keeping AI technologies proprietary creates unnecessary barriers, slows down progress, and limits advanced AI tools to a select few corporations. This dispute extends beyond OpenAI and DeepSeek. It's essentially about who gets to dictate the future of AI. If open source AI keeps advancing as it has, OpenAI may need to reconsider its strategy. Will OpenAI stick to its controlled, closed source method? Or will the industry demand more openness? Currently, OpenAI maintains an edge due to its brand recognition with products like ChatGPT and substantial financial backing from Microsoft and major venture capitalists. Its massive investment in the $500 billion Stargate project is a testament to its commitment to long-term dominance in AI, ensuring it stays competitive. However, DeepSeek brings a dynamic OpenAI lacks, momentum. With its affordability, open source nature, and quick adoption, DeepSeek is a formidable contender, especially appealing to businesses and developers who prefer more control over their AI tools. The fact that it's been adopted by major platforms like Microsoft and Amazon indicates that even OpenAI's investors see the value in an open source approach. If DeepSeek's growth persists, OpenAI might be compelled to make its models open source to remain relevant. The battle in AI isn't just about technology, it's about who controls it, the underlying philosophies, and the future of AI itself. Will OpenAI keep its lead in AI development? Or will open source alternatives like DeepSeek prompt a shift in the industry? One thing is certain, this struggle will significantly influence the direction of AI. If you've followed along this far, share your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to check out more interesting videos, like the one recommended on your screen right now. Thanks for watching.